Good day now, I'm my host, Will and Cloud, welcome to an upgrade video. Now, as you know, it's my birthday and I got a birthday gift. As my PC is loud, this one, it's kind of loud. When you record, I'll show you and sound footage right now. Now you'll hear in the background sound how it sounds when I'm recording. Yeah, it sounds terrible. And I recorded a proof that that right, right there, that CPU cooler is loud. So I, I had a gift that's an liquid cooled Corsair IQH115i Elite Carpelix. Extreme performance 280mm RGB liquid CPU cooler. IQ and everything else. Funny thing is, my mouse is Corsair, my keyboard is Corsair, my, my RAM maybe is Corsair. I don't know, but let's see. Let's unbox this baby first. Safety and warranty, yeah. How to install what you have there, and obviously, pure resistance. Those two. Oh my god, they're massive. I did not know that they were so massive. Are they 120 millimeter or... Oh, hold up, hold up a minute. This is a little concerning. Uh, doesn't say. Does it say on the box? Okay, let me let me let me unbox firstly. So we, this is the radiator itself. This is the cooler. It's chunky. It's a chunk one. Come out. No, that's a rad. No, that's a rad. Okay, let's put it on the side with all this. And we have a Corsair lock. That's nice. And all the goodies. So, backing plate for Intel to 1 2010 16. Retentioners. AMD, AM4, there is something else, oh, there is that screen, hardware, that screen, and that's it from the box. So, as I don't have AMD, I can go back in the box, I guess I'll need this, Intel, we, do, do we change the face, we'll, we'll look it later on, and the hardware, so let's put these ones on the side. And let's put this away. I don't know about you guys, but this looks kind of 140 millimeter. But let's see. Let's unbox everything. So two heavy fans. This. Okay, let's un unbox this. Ooh, that looks epic. Look at that logo. I know the light isn't perfect. I do apologize. I know the light isn't perfect, but I'm not not in a recording studio. I'm in my room. Come out, come out, come out, come out, oh that block is thick, damn that block is thick, so we can choose from this fascia or white, actually just clear white, mm. nah black, my case is black, so we're gonna keep it black. Okay, the Commando Pro, let's see, ah yeah, and the tubes are, what you call that material, I don't know what you call material, but it's not metal, maybe it is metal, but it underneath it, damn, this block is thick, this block is thick, boy, it's extra thick, the thermal pad is right there already, the thermal paste, sorry. And this is the Pro. 
I don't know, don't ask me because I'm I'm not a prof professional that I can tell. Yeah, this is the radiator, this is 208. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's big, it's big, it's, it's big, it's big. Okay, that's the hardware, the fascia, no, I won't use, so I can, the fascia I won't use, so I can go there. T4, pensioners, and that's the Intel. Now let me read, read about all this, so this is called com Commander Hub. Hub. Blah, 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 commander hub and this is my pc now we, we are replacing this cryorg the loud one gonna remove the fan and we're gonna put the radiator right here yeah i had ram corsair vengeance and i have corsair fans this fan this is corsair this is our auris msi motherboard so first things first i guess we take out the cooler Oh, I found a reason why we can't remove this. Here are the troublemakers. Put this out of the way. Here, here, here and here. So this is an i7-4790K and if we look up on the phone i7-4790K which socket this is because we need to know which socket it is and the socket is coming up right now do, 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 do. there we go socket supported 1150 so we need a. We need A screws. So let's open this. So this is the back plate. So this is the back, back plate for an Intel. Because it says right here Intel. And now we need the right screws. This is 170, 15X. This is 211. 2066 1700 and 115x or 1 1200 so we need this ones for this bracket okay for an i7 4790k you need to slide these pins inside all of them inside they are on the outside but you need to slide them all on the inside so they actually fit align the holes for the motherboard if we look lovely they all fit see here's the back plate right here 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 and here nice and it has a little sticky so you don't need to hold it we put in these screws sorry i'm doing everything one-handed so it takes a little longer come on one more There we go, that's the spacer. So we can screw them in right now. Right there, see? Where's the shiny part? There, there, there and there. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Now you can see. That's screwed in, that's screwed in, that's screwed in, and that's screwed in. Now the fun part starts. 
Now they are telling me to put the radiator and the screws on. Now the problem is, I don't want the fans being on the inside. I want the fans to pull the air from the case. So the fans will be on top. They will be push, pulling through. That's how I want my setup. So these fans pull in there. This pushes out. So I want these fans to get this air and pulls it out from the through the radiator. Not that the fans are here, but the fans are on the top for easier cleaning. You guys have now. You guys see that there is a fan. <laughs> this fan and this fan had to come out because you guys have no idea how lucky I am that I changed this case, that I went for this case. Look at the fans. This is a hundred. 40 millimeter. See, this is the normal ones. These ones, and these small slits here, here. It's 140 millimeter. Look at that. And it fits snugly there. If I would have bought three, 360 millimeter radiator, it would never fit in this chassis. And look at this fitment. Look at that fitment. It's wall to almost wall. Now let me put the fans on top and I'll screw this down. So now let's do how the manual said. Put the radiator and then the fans because that's will, that will be easier to do. So here we have the radiator. And if you just slide it on top. You are coming with me block because you are important. Hands, please don't get don't get in my way. Hands, stop it, stop it, stop fighting me. So that's how the top looks. Here, here, right here, right here, right here, and right here. And if I that radiator is not going anywhere, now I can put the thingy on top and down on on the top. So now we install the pump unit and it has thermal paste already applied and you just take this plastic off and it has thermal paste right here. But I don't really trust it so I, I will use a little bit of Noctua fan I have already. So I'll, I'll apply a little bit of Noctua on the CPU just a tiny bit for safety. Just to be extra safe, thumb screws. So you put, put the pump on without any extra fans. You slide it on the pins. And then with the thumb screws, you tighten it up. So I made it tight, so these screws are tight. Now we can fish the wire through the back. Pump is in, the radiator is in. Now we can screw down the fans. Put the ram sticks in, the fan back in, all that, everything back on. And then we move at the back. Okay, radiator installed, that's installed. Now let's install the fans. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up real good. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the radiator doesn't fit. It hits against the RAM and here against the motherboard. <laughs> oh no. I done a fucky wucky. Oh fuck. Now the radiator is fully mounted at the front. We had to make some changes so the fans now fit. And now if we check, the 
look at that the fans do fit and here the fans do fit so you're gonna put the fans like this Now many of you will be triggered that the logo is upside down but you can be triggered how much you want. These wires bend that way and I need them to go that way so freak you. If you want to be triggered go, go ahead be triggered but those wires are more important for me. Uh oh, that might be another fucky walkie. Oh no, another fucky walkie, another fucky walkie. Yeah, look, look at the gap. With the fan, it would never fit. So, one fan is here, and now I'm making a plan how to fit maybe on the outside one. Or there. I'll figure something out, but for now, this is how far it is. One fan is in, and oh boy, I'll show you the finished result in a sec. <laughs> 